Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. Imagine for a moment you work on commission. Business slows down, so you try to cut back. You hang on to your 10-year-old car, you eat hot dogs and ramen noodles. After a couple of months, you no longer recognize anybody who works a drive through But you happen to share the house with a freeloading friend. Hey man, can I borrow 20 bucks? I need some breakfast. While you're cutting back, he's spending more. Dude, can I borrow 50 bucks? I lost the TV remote. And he pays for it all with your money. Dude, you need to work a little harder. We're short on cash. As an astute stoplight viewer, you already know I'm talking about you and the federal government. While we're wondering what the rest of the year holds for us, the Congress is voting on a $410 billion budget. That omnibus bill contains an estimated 9,000 earmarks. Read that pork projects. The wheels omnibus go round and round. Hey man, can I get a thousand bucks? Digital TV transition's coming up. And I want to pass a budget next year that ensures that each dollar we spend reflects only our most important national priorities. But Mr. President, why wait until next year's budget? We're all a little strapped right now, so I'm thinking maybe we could hold off on Connecticut's $2 million water taxi to Pleasure Beach. Only our most important national priorities. Could we drop the $150,000 for lobster research and the half a million dollars for bicycle and pedestrian trails of statewide significance in Maine? Only our most important national priorities. Could Willoughby, Ohio get by a little longer without the $85,000 traffic signal preemption system? Could we wait on the half a million for traffic signal modernization in Lakewood, California? Only our most important national priorities. And could we just take a pass on Alabama's $820,000 catfish genome project or that $139,000 for the Interstate Shellfish Sanitation Conference and New York's $2 million Center for Grape Genetics? Only our most important national priorities. In fact, Mr. President, you should know that all of America supports your desire to cut down on earmarks. Dude, what are you doing? Because right now, spending wisely is our most important national priority.